All right, let's go over some basic trig integrals here. Um, getting started with our first one, probably the most common, uh, sine x dx. Now just remember this is kind of flipped from your derivative, so this ends up being negative cosine of x plus c. Never forget that, plus c. Now going off of sine of it, cosine x, sorry. Cosine x dx, the antiderivative of cosine x ends up being positive sine x plus c. All right, next one we're gonna go with is the integral of secant squared x dx. Now, if you remember from derivatives, um, the derivative that gets us this is tan x. So antiderivative of secant squared x is going to be tan x plus c. Okay, so now going with the cosecant squared. Now we just have to remember that uh, sine sign piece of it, uh, this ends up being negative cotan of x plus c. All right, next one that we're gonna talk about is secant x tan of x. All right, and this antiderivative ends up being secant x plus c. Okay, and with that, you also have your cosecant cotangent x. Sorry, I should have dx right here. dx. dx, never forget that dx, never forget your plus c. All right, in this case, uh, we need that negative sign, negative cosecant x plus c. All right, so these are probably the six most common trig uh, integrals that you'll see here and in, in their antiderivatives.